Hello! In this video we're going to have a look at how to create um, basically regular backups of your hard disk and your data. Okay, just like a professional corporate institution would back up their data on a daily basis, every few hours, etc., depending on how it works with them. Okay, it's a very simple tool, okay, and we run it through Windows PowerShell, okay, initially. Well, I'll just show you how it's done, and then I'll show you how to set it up as a regular task. Okay, so basically you go over here, and then type in PowerShell. Okay, and that'll come, right click on that, and then run as administrator, and then you'll get this window, okay, depending on how you've sized it, I've resized it just a little bit over here, okay, and this is what actually happens, I didn't want to erase this, I've already done the backup as it can take some time, let's just go right to about here, okay. What you need to do is type in this command, okay, which is wb admin and then it's space start, space start backup, and that's backup, then it's space dash backup target. Okay, where do we want to back it up? Okay, in this case, we've backed it up to our E drive, okay? So it's a colon E and then another colon, okay, then space, then it's dash include. Now, which drives do we want to include in our backup, okay? In this case, we're just using a simple C, okay? So, backup our C drive, so it's dash include, then colon, C, then colon, and then space, dash all critical. All critical is including the Windows systems files as well. And then when you type, and when you hit the enter key, It'll basically start up the backup tool. It'll ask you, do you want to backup the EFI system partition, which is very important, okay, and the recovery partition. Just type yes, Y, that's a Y button, press enter, then it goes through all this. It'll create the shadow backup volumes, and then it creates the backups, and then starts backing up each one, okay, and then it goes down, 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 until it reaches 100%. Okay, and then finally, it does the backup volume recovery, whatever size that is, that also goes to 100%. And then it should give you a message, something like this, the backup operation successfully completed. Okay, so now I'm just going to temporarily create a new folder. Okay, I'll just minimize that. Okay, the new folder is there. And... I'll just open it up. Okay, and uh, within the new folder, let's create a new, shall we say, text document. Okay. Anything in here. Okay, and save it. There we go. Now, I'll show you. If we run the same command again, okay, it will do a backup, but it's only an incremental backup. So it doesn't copy the entire everything again. It only checks what's different and backs up what's different. Okay. So there we are. There we go. Let's just type that command. We press enter. And we'll give it a few seconds to start up. Okay, we'll return to this after it's done the backup and we'll show you exactly what has happened. Now that the operation is completed, we can happily go back to where we actually stored it and we've opened up this PC and we've looked at it. The E drive has roughly about the same space, plus or minus a little bit, that was used as a backup. Okay, and will be stored in a folder called Windows Image Backup. You could obviously specify the folder, but if you do specify the folder, there are reports that incremental backups may not happen. So it's a full backup every time, which basically overwrites any previous backups. Okay, you would need permission to access these folders. Okay, I have clicked already and given permission. That's why you can see them. 
the backup is basically like this. You'll have the disk backups and then you'll have any extra information with them. Okay. Okay. Now we want to basically use Task Scheduler to run this automatically at, for example, 3 a.m. at night when we're not using the computer. It'll automatically do the backups daily or whenever. Okay. Basically, how do we get there? We click on there and then Task and then scheduler okay and then open that up it'll bring it to this now create a task okay run with highest privileges if you want to change the user that it's going to be running as okay you could change it to for example admin straighter okay okay there we go. There we go. And it finds it. Click on that. Okay, it's up to you, or you could have just left it as the original one. Now, actions. Okay, basically, we're creating, run it as a program, start program, browse. It's in the Windows system 32. And then basically, you could search W B A D M I N. Okay, it'll find that. Okay, open that up. Okay. Now we need to add these little arguments, these little extra bits that we had for it. Okay, start backup. Okay, so we need to click all these start backup and then basically Okay. Paste. Okay, let's see if we have it start back up. Let's just get rid of this extra thing. So, as you can see, it's literally the same as what we had. Okay, WB admin, and then it's the rest of that. Okay, all right, let's just make sure. Okay, then click OK. Okay, uh, task name. There we go. Let's say backup. Daily backup. Backup. Okay. Okay. Click no. Okay. On a schedule. Let's say, for example, daily. All right. And let's say it starts today at 1.28. Okay, that should give us time. And every day it runs. Okay, enabled. Okay, and there we go. We now have created this task. Okay, now what we've done is we've gone to basically look at our task. Okay, how do we get there? Let's start off in the beginning. It's like this. Okay. And then we went down to daily backup. Okay. Double clicked on that. Okay. And you can see the task is currently running. Okay. Some issues that you might find. Okay. In our instance, we actually had to change the settings a little bit by enabling the user name and password. And we'll just show you how it might be. If, for example, you are connected to a domain, okay, and you click run whether user is log logged in or not, you would then need to give the username and password to ensure that it's stored. Okay. Once that is set up, it should run automatically every day at a certain time, okay, that's specified. If you need to run it at any time, you just click run, and it does the backup for you. And it'll take roughly about the same amount of time that we showed in PowerShell, which in our case was probably about 5, 10, 15 minutes, something like that. Okay, hopefully this helped. Our next video should show you how to restore from the backups. Thank you for watching.